Hey guys, it's just uh, me again. I am going to focus on this video. So, I was cooking and I had to do the video for the day. And a lot of it, of what I've been kind of going through, I've been thinking, so today I didn't have much. I had like an okay-ish morning. I got up early. I wrote for the hour. I was able to like, not for the hour, but like I was able to get that first block. I formatted it over, moved over like the first five parts plus one section of part six from volume three over to my beta group section so that I could have some people start reading it. And then after that, uh, I just like didn't do anything. I got really tired and I was just like hit a real low. And I think, you know, I was on my phone last night and I was up pretty late. Like I kind of just broke out of my routines a little bit. And I think that's what really messed me up. And I'm seeing like more and more like how important it is to kind of just like guard that space and that time. Because today I wouldn't say it was wasted because I I was able to look up, I looked up a few videos on just trying to see like, okay, what the F is going on? Because I don't want to lose momentum. That's the biggest thing. It's like I'm absolutely like terrified of losing momentum. And I was just like drawing from this empty well. And I'm thinking, well, how can I empty the well? And I feel like first off, obviously, by like going into certain behaviors, you know, like I was shrinking what was possible there, like what was in the well, right? You know, like when I'm up all night looking at random videos, right? And like not really focusing on what it is I need to do, you know, reading, doing that. It's like my cup shrinks. And then when my cup shrinks, you know, it can just hold less water. And then whatever is needed to kind of move into the next day, it's not there. Even though I might be refilled from the day's sleep, but the, the cup's too small. Like whatever's in there just isn't as big. And so it's not only getting the container filled, but it's making sure the container stays the same size and that it doesn't shrink. And so I think a lot of that it's kind of been like a, a lot of the mindset shift. Tomorrow I'm going to be picking up a package. I asked, asked a friend to send me some scriptures um, just so I can start reading. And I think that would help me a lot, just kind of get that focused. But more and more, especially with this YouTube channel and just trying to get real clarity on what it is I want to do and what value I can even give. One of the biggest things I've decided was I want to really focus on giving more value because a lot of it's been like, oh yeah, like I want to sell the girl and the beast and I want to be able to finish that book and be able to move it out there and like sell it. And I was really inspired by like Angel Ganev and like all these other people who, who like were really able to make stuff as like creatives. And there's been a lot of anxiety straight up, you know, like is it what I'm doing right and like all that uncertainty and there's this time when it's like, man, I just need to go. And I've been doing these videos. I've been doing the Instagram posts. And there's sometimes where it just doesn't feel like enough. And I've just been trying to think, like, why is that? Like, what is it I am looking for? What is the feedback? What is the sort of flag that needs to be raised that will sort of put at ease where I feel like I'm not just shooting in the dark or that I'm actually enjoying this process, like while I am actually doing these things, right? And, you know, longitudinally, it's like, oh yeah, because I want to be able to like create enough so that I can actually sustain myself and stop being a drag on anybody, right? And I don't want to be on unemployment. I don't want to be relying on food stamps. I don't want to have to like live in a place that's not even my own. Like I just want to like own my life. Right. And as many aspects of it as I can, like it's a control thing a little bit, um, if I'm being honest. And I I think maybe that's coming from an insecurity kind of just like with the divorce and everything like that. And basically, I'm out here pouring stuff out. But more and more, I'm realizing like, OK, maybe like I'll have these vlog videos, you know, that I do every day. And then I post them on YouTube to kind of give that there. But more and more, I'm starting to think like, okay, maybe like on my channel, I need to actually give value, right? And I need to be thinking what that value is. 
and maybe you know maybe the the vlogging i'll use more instagram more for that portal so you know maybe the videos that i'm doing here instead of posting them on youtube i'm gonna put them on instagram and then on my actual youtube channel it's gonna just be more value driven content and then you know maybe i'll do snippets of that also on instagram but i just feel like because instagram is less evergreen and my vlogs you know it's interesting enough and like i might have some a, some advice or whatever but i just feel like whatever i'm i don't want to dilute whatever this youtube channel is supposed to be with just my ramblings um not that i think that's bad but i just feel like maybe this is not the right medium for it so i've been putting some i've been putting some posts on um instagram and the biggest thing is just trying to get in the habit of doing those posts every like two twice a day um and just like finding random stuff to like post and put up there and you know just trying to document my journey and like keep track of that and you know i have my journal and i have all my different things and i'm just trying to like really sell and buy into that vision for myself because um you know i have this vision this thing that i want for myself i you know i want to be able to share my stories and i want to be able to like talk to other people about the characters that i love and enjoy so much and i want to be able to see those things expressed not only through the mediums and the limitations of my skill that's one of the biggest things i've been struggling with is starting draws because i just feel like i know that especially when i start out i'm going to be so limited in my ability to like draw or portray the girl and the beast and a part of me doesn't want to like dishonor that but i realize that's kind of like my ego and i need to get past that so that's kind of been a work and that's kind of been a work in progress and drawing was one of the tasks this week. I don't know if it's going to get done, but I've been trying to do that and piano and, you know, doing the Spanish. And it's just like, there's a lot of things that I'm doing to try and improve the type of person I am because I want to be better. Um, you know, and that's one thing is like, I always wonder like, why is it that I want to be better? And it's, I want to believe it's not because I don't think I'm good enough, but it's because that I feel that, if I progress to a certain point that I can give value and that I can help people because, and that would somehow validate my existence because without that, I don't necessarily deserve to exist. And I don't think that's right. Like I, I don't, I know that line of thinking isn't correct, but it is sort of my line of thinking. Um, and I look away from the camera a lot. I have a lot to learn about just becoming more engaged and being a better YouTuber slash content creator slash anything and it's strange that you know this little circle on here can symbolize and represent so many different souls and people that i'm able to capture and more and more i'm just trying to learn to like recognize okay this is the eye of the world right uh that was a um a robert jordan book i think it was the very first uh wheel of time book actually eye of the world pretty sure anyway um so yeah, I just really want to give value and just really be able to like step into myself. And there's a part of me that is like really exhausted. I just feel like from the momentum of my constant chaos that I can't really like, okay, what is it that I'm really trying to do? Because I just feel like just this momentum and keep going with it. It's really that, like I just feel exhausted from the momentum. And so I kind of slowed down today and I was kicking myself for it. And I'm just like, okay, let's not do that anymore like let's not do that and you know i think especially like staying away from bad things so like definitely stay away from my phone stay away from like at night stay away from like porn which is like really really bad and i recognize that it's not as bad as like when i think of like a 13 year old oni or like you know even like a 25 year old oni well 25 i was actually pretty good 25 20, so it's from 22 to 25, I didn't look at any porn at all. Um, and, you know, there was a time when I was, like, really good, right? And um, and I recognize, like, I'm not, I don't know. On one end, I think, I think I want to be able to move past where that's even coming to my mind as a need, right? And I think, for me, that's sort of the success quotient, Right? knowing getting to a point like when I'm stressed when I'm in that dark moment like I have so many other options and 
viable means of appeasing and soothing myself that I don't look at that. And for me, that's going to be like that marker of success, right? And I mean, there's sort of a, a financial boon as well. I think a lot of it as well is like, I love New York. I think it's really great. Um, there's a part of me that would like to go to a place with like parks and lakes and a gym, right? Like that's one of the biggest things I'm missing about Salt Lake is just like there was a gym there and there was a park next to that and um, New York's not set up like that. It's very walkable. There's a lot of things and commerce and stuff nearby, but it's not set up like that. But I realize, I feel like for this time in my life, it is where I need to be and like kind of where I need to grind. Um, I think specifically like kind of in that, but especially like when I like relapse and I just feel like claustrophobic, I realize it's not good. And you know what? I probably just need to go out for a walk because I am feeling a little congested and I realize I probably just need to go do that. So I'm actually going to go do that after this. Um, but yeah, like one, I think I know that one of the best things we can do for ourselves is really like focus on other people and like folk and, um, how do I say service? And that's always been kind of like what I want to do. I've always wanted to have like a family that's built around service and helping other people and like about making an impact in the world. That's one of the things that I've always been very critical about people who self aggrandize. That's one of my biggest issues with organized certain organized religions, right? Because I feel like sometimes they overstate their impact and their good works. And, you know, they don't talk about like how their own agendas are fitting into that. And oftentimes, people will set their value by counting their own currency, which I think is, it's erroneous thinking to say that, oh yeah, like I'm adding value because like this thing that helps me helped me. So therefore I'm a good person. And it's like, yeah, but that only helped you. Right. And for me, a lot of what value is, is universal value. And man, I'm getting wrinkles. My, I'm getting old, man. I'm getting old child. Anyway. So yeah, I think a lot of it was just figuring out, I don't know, man. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I have no fucking clue. That's the reality. Somehow, magically, this year sort of like plop, 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 plop together. You know, I've been able to go to school and it's been kind of lining up. So, you know, Tuesdays and Thursdays, I study for the test. And, you know, at the mid-February, I'm going to take the test. So I'll have like, what is it? I'll probably have about four weeks to study a uh, test on personal finance and social psychology, then I'm going to finish those tests and they're going to be easy, right? Or I might even knock them out. Like maybe I'll just study two weeks straight. You know, maybe I'll study all next week personal finance, then knock that out. And then all next week I'll do social psychology and knock that out. Um, the biggest thing is just I'm getting really, I'm realizing I am kind of coming up with a limit of like how much I can read and edit and do all that stuff. And I'm realizing like about six hours is about that like limit because I've been getting up consistently and starting at about six and about 1130 after that, I start getting really burnt out and it's really hard for me to ignite and engage again after that. And I've noticed that like, I keep trying to like knock down this wall and it never gets done as well. And I realize more and more, I'm just starting to see, okay, like this time needs to be put on other things, right? And one of the biggest things I've been thinking, okay, I want to build a business. I want to like start doing that because that's been interesting me. So, you know, in my third work block, um, I'm thinking, okay, maybe my third work block, I can dedicate that to the businesses. And that's, that's kind of been slow going. So, you know what, I actually think for the next three weeks, I'm going to just focus those last third blocks on the schooling just to get some momentum and some success in and just to figure out how the heck I'm going to like build things. Obviously, I'm still doing the videos. I'm going to start doing the videos on Instagram and these video little video clips. And then um, specifically, I'm going to keep doing the posts on Instagram. And then as for the YouTube channel, there's a part of me that just feels like I need to start adding value with it because I'm like, I'm not really adding any value. And I watched this Vanessa Lauchik. She is like, so I want, there's nothing more inspiring for me to see like a beautiful woman who like 
is so much more than her beauty because so many and like is really interested in value right and like Lao I'm pretty sure she's Chinese pretty sure or Taiwanese right she's from Vancouver so you know that's like that's like 70 percent of the population right there so you got a good shot if she's from Vancouver she's Chinese um but yeah this chick just adds so much value and is like really focused and like really humble and I was like, man, like, I want to be like that. And I started remembering like that feeling of like, that's the feeling I want to be able to inspire people where you don't need someone to look like you or act like you to feel represented within them. And I think like, that's one of the biggest things we struggle with. I should make a whole video about that, right? Why representation doesn't matter, right? Because like, I see like within Vanessa Lau, an example, and like for me, when I was younger, one of the biggest examples and representatives I had for me was like, like was like Asian girls. So it was like, started with like Cardcaptor Sakura, and then it was like Sailor Moon, and then you had Mulan. And I was like, I wanna be like those chicks, right? But it didn't mean I wanted to be a girl. Like, I'm like, I'm a black boy, I'm a black man, right? Cause that's what I am. But I didn't feel like I needed to force that representation or change my identity to embody like the very universal human characteristics. They were examples to and I think as human be like, especially in this political day and age we become I just feel like the veneer of appearance and you know political correctness and these very, very shallow indicators of virtue has become so disgustingly apparent, right? Like when someone's like, oh, I'm gay, they're like, there's some virtue in being gay, right? Or like, there's some virtue in being black. Like, no, there's no, vir or like, or because someone is white or they're a male, that there is somehow some like, degeneracy in them. Like they are somehow subhuman just because of who they and what they are. Like to me, that is, the most inane proposition that is consistently sent out again and again and it disgusts me beyond all belief and that's something that i deeply want to speak about and like me i so i naturally never wrote a lot of characters with like white males or anything like that i just never wrote it like i just never never do it but like there's a part of me i want to start closing out some projects and then just be like i'm literally just going to make the like dopest white dude character right because like I get pissed off when people are trying to like shoehorn representation as though that's the only thing that matters. Like your race, your gender, your skin color and who you fuck matter and, and say somehow about the quality of human being you are. And I don't know, the fact that we focus on that as a society and those are topics of discussion, for me, I feel like is indicative of like some deep, deep, um, some you're just looking the wrong way. Like you are missing the mark, right? If you, that is the way you are thinking. And I just feel like that sort of erroneous trail of thought only leads to damnation and it doesn't help anybody. And I think you see it in the personal lives of a lot of the people who propagate and instigate these type of dialogues. Like they ain't happy, they ain't helping anybody, right? And you know, there, there's a lot of virtue signaling, a lot of flag waving, but you don't see a lot of value being added just a lot of council culture, a lot of like toxicity, you know, like it's oftentimes the most toxic people who are able to identify, you know, who they are and what they are. And so anyway, I think like for me, I realized even in myself, like I had a great relationship with a great girlfriend and like it didn't work because there were so many other things like in my own life. And I mean, she, she obviously nobody's perfect, but like within myself, like I saw there were so many things that I needed to work on and that I could have done better. Shit, like I was just, I needed to start working on it. And so I guess I just need to like get a structure, right? Because I've always lacked that structure. And I feel like maybe that's what I'm gonna focus on. And that's like the value I can give is like, so you had crappy parents, where do you go from here, right? And maybe just talking about that because I don't know. I haven't seen anybody else talking about that and be like, hey, so your parents weren't great, right? Here's the thing, da, 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 and you need structure. And because that's one of the biggest things like I see is like all these people who are doing well, it's like they all have like these great parents. And it's like, well, fuck, like, what do you do if you don't have great parents? Like, it just seems like you're fucked, right? And you're not, but I feel like I want to talk about sort of the healing process of that and recognizing like the curve 
because I think even within myself, I was always judging myself on this curve with people like who generally didn't have sabotaging parents. And like, it takes like a deep sort of call out to recognize like, yeah, like your parents, because like they didn't work on their shit, put that on you. And like, now it kind of fucked you up. Right. And like, what are you going to do to like get past that? I think especially excel and become a leader and do exceptional things. Because I think there's an unusual amount of pressure when you don't have that support. And when that's pulled out from under you, that's tough. But I do think that because we, in order to get to that point, we haven't needed it. There's a, there's a bit of an advantage. But at the end of the day, I think everyone from all walks of life adds their own unique spin and value. And that's really important. And I realized maybe that message is something that I can structure in a more refined video. Um, and like in a definitive way to like really help people. And, you know, I need to get like a video editor. My computer is not the greatest, but like I have one computer that I can use and maybe I'll pull it out on Sundays to like edit it out and make the video clips or whatever. And then I'll make the actual video with a thumbnail and then I'll just start doing that, like actually making decent like videos and just trying to make like a YouTube channel and just post like maybe like once a week for a little bit, right? Really proper YouTube. And like these clips are gonna go on Instagram and then, you know, move shift to all the other things um, to YouTube. So like YouTube will be like proper. And then, you know, I'll expand out I just need like a structure because I've been going back and forth and stuff and it is kind of confusing me, kind of trying all this stuff out, which has been good. But I realize I just don't have the fucking energy. Like I'm just so like a god. Like I just want to like chill out. Like there are times when I just don't want to do anything because I'm just empty. And it's not like empty in a bad depressed way. I'm just like tanked, done. Like I just want to like dream. I mean, I had a dream today literally about like poopy underwear. Yeah, straight up. It was a weird fucking dream. And I was like, what the fuck am I dreaming about, right? And yeah, I just learned that if you're able to handle shit, you can handle shit. But when you're not able to handle shit, you can't handle any shit. And I think a lot of the time we need to focus on cleaning ourselves first, wiping our own asses before we seek to try and wipe anybody else's, right? Um, so I'm just trying to be that example and get that done. And I've, I've lacked that energy and that's the biggest thing I feel like moving forward. Like one of the biggest things I'm, I feel like moving forward is like maintaining this schedule, obviously being the example, but then just getting some fucking energy underneath me. Cause like, I don't have any energy and I feel like maybe for the first few videos, I'm just going to talk about sleep and getting into getting to sleep properly and like having like a proper way to get to sleep because I'm just so exhausted all the time. And then just talk about some mindset stuff. I don't know. Vanessa Lau, she really inspired me. And you know, if she should ever watch this video, I doubt she ever will. Maybe I'll, I'll definitely make a video with her shouting her out that hopefully she'll watch one day, but she ever watches this. She's such a fucking stud. I know she knows that. And that's like, I'm just glad that there's people like that rolling around this giant ball of dirt because it makes life so worthwhile. And I'm just loving it. Anyway, so I'm going to put this video on the YouTube channel and eventually maybe move over to Instagram. Eventually, I don't know if anybody actually watches this shit. It won't. This, this is going to go into my basement and it'll be nice because it'll be chilling and no one's going to watch this and it'll be awesome. So I don't say, I really should do that. Maybe I should just like put on, like before I blow up, just say like a bunch of random shit. Just like crazy controversial shit. Be like, no one's going to watch this video. So here's what's up. And this fucking spout off. And then maybe like later down the line, like to... 20 years from now when someone looks at the video be like oh my god he said this crazy controversial stuff and then some like somebody will try to like cancel me be like he said this on this obscure video one time on his youtube channel that would be kind of funny and then i'm like bitch i'm powerful shut the fuck up then i'll slap him with a ten thousand dollar bill or something like that <laughs> even though i don't think they make bills that much even though with inflation you never know maybe i'll get some zimbabwe dollars ten thousand zimbabwe dollars slap him on the face with it be like, bitch, eat my money. <laughs>
Hey, man, if you got good lawyers, man, you can get away with some crazy shit. You know, or, you know, be a woman in family court. Yeah, there's no bitter, there's no embitterment there, trust me. Um, anyway, much love, peace, take care, and uh, that's a wrap.